Now we have a special case of the division algorithm. It's called the remainder theorem. But before we can get into an example, we first need a definition. The remainder theorem. If a polynomial f of x is divided by x minus k, then the remainder is equal to the function evaluated at k. Now that we have a definition, we can get into an example. Okay, let me explain that definition just a little bit. A special case of that division algorithm is when we're dividing by a special linear factor. Okay, upon that division, if we were to evaluate this at k, what would we have? We'd have f of k is equal to g of k, um, k minus k, okay, plus r. What's k minus k? Zero. What's zero times that function? Zero. So that whole dang thing goes to zero. And what are you left with? You're left with f of k is equal to r. Okay, now this only happens when you're dividing, well, this happens when you're dividing by that special linear factor. Okay, when you're dividing by a special linear factor, that means your degree or your remainder is gonna be degree less this, but that's one. So the only possible degree of our remainder is gonna be zero, AKA making it a constant, AKA evaluating that formula, AKA this example. Yeah, buddy. So now we're trying to evaluate this function. Yeah, so we can use synthetic division because this is a special linear factor. In synthetic division, what goes on the inside? The coefficients, one, five, and six. Okay, and then zeros come on the outside. We're saying that this number is gonna make our special linear factor zero. So we put a minus two on the outside and then we bring down that one. Fun, this one times that one, put it there. That's a minus two, that's a three. Tee tee no way. Minus six? This whole dang dang is just screwed up. No, it's fine. Um, zero. Oh boy. So what does that say? That says f of minus two is equal to zero. I was wrong once. It was that time that I thought I was wrong. Why don't we check it? Yeah, let's check it algebraically. Let's plug it in, plug it in. Here, what am I looking for? I'm looking for f of minus two. Okay, urge you to use parentheses. Here we go. Minus two squared plus five times a minus two plus six. Okay, finish him. Yeah, um, this is gonna be four minus 10 plus six. And if we evaluate this guy, that's gonna be zero. Okay, let's talk about the factor theorem. But in order to talk about the factor theorem, we need to first have a definition. The factor theorem. A polynomial x minus k is a factor of the polynomial f of x if and only if the function evaluated at k is zero. Okay, now that we have that definition, if um, minus two is a factor, then its remainder is zero, what does that say to you? Mm hmm that says, that says, that says, um, this is a factor. No, that's a zero. If that's a zero, then what's a factor? Then x minus a minus two is a factor? Yes, so that says x plus two is a factor? And fortunately for us, we have a factorable example. Let's check it if x squared plus 5x plus 6 is our polynomial, polynomial. Then can we factor that? We're looking for the factors of 6 that add to be 5. Are there any? You gotta get that. You gotta get that 3 and 2. X and X. The signs are the same and they're both positive. Positive. <laughs> yeah. Like we thought. It is a factor. Mm -hmm.